Okay, moving up, um, you've got um, the torso. Um, so you have these um, controls sticking out the front and back of his torso. Um, these are um, rotation. Um, so if I select them both, you can bend the torso um, in any direction. Okay. Um, or you can literally um, select this kind of main ring around his chest. Um, that will uh, bend uh, the torso in any direction, um, but you can also move uh, the torso as well into position. Now you can see that very quickly um, he will squash and stretch, um, so it's up to you as an animator to make sure you don't take him and, and exaggerate him too much. Um, that looks uh, ridiculous. So that's that's your responsibility as an animator. Uh, don't take it too far. Um, so generally, either animate with these rings, the main rings, or animate with uh, these rotations that come from the front. Um, if you start mixing them, they'll start to clash. Um, uh, but generally, I, I always find just choose one, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. And it's always practice when you're dealing with a rig. And again, to reset it, uh, translation and rotation zero out. Okay. Uh, moving up a little bit further, we've got the clavicles, um, which are the shoulder shrugs. Um, you've got left and right clavicle um, in the center of his chest here. Um, these are only rotations, so you can see you can rotate his, um, his shoulders up and down and forwards and backwards. Um, you can do the same for the other side. Uh, so there you're animating with rotations. Um, there's also um, these controls which have a little cross on them. These are uh, also animate the shoulders, but these are translation only. So again, translate up and down. Now this is a, a preference, whichever you prefer. Uh, again, with translation, anything that has a translation, you'll probably find that you can start and stretch it and move it and break it. Um, so again, just be careful um, to reset. If you get into trouble, just set the translations in your channel box to zero. I, I find with the clavicles, uh, choose one or the other. Personally, I prefer the rotation, so um, uh, rather than translations, don't mix them, you'll get into trouble. Um, so if I, if I select both rotations, um, they will mirror each other as well, so you can do both at the, at the same time. Okay. Uh, moving up, you've got the head. Uh, again, the head control, um, you can uh, translate. Again, anything with a translation, you can take it too far, so just be careful. Um, but you've also got rotate as well. All right? Um, and then you've got the uh, extra little uh, neck control, um, which again is a, um, a rotation. Um, but you can see grabbing the main head control, um, you can bend. Um, and rotate the head. Okay, so just just be careful with um, with the head. Um, now moving along uh, the arms, you will see the default when you first open the rig. Um, you get these rings around his arms. Um, this is FK control, where literally it's all rotation. So I rotate the shoulder. Um, which affects the whole arm. If I then select the elbow, I can rotate this, and then I select the hand and rotate the hand. Okay, so everything is done um, kind of from top down. Um, if I want to reposition the hand over here, I have to do it by first of all moving um, the shoulder, um, then the elbow. So you're kind of working top down. Okay. Um, so that's one way of animating. Uh, again, if you want to zero everything out, just select all the controls and under rotation in your channel box, hit zero. Okay, 
Now, we have something called, uh, so that's FK controls, where it's going from shoulder down. Um, we've got something called IK controls, which is very similar to the uh, legs, in that it, sometimes it might be easier to just kind of pick up the hand and move it where we want to. Okay, So you can set the arm to IK by clicking on um, the horizontal arrows, and you'll see in the channel box on the right-hand side, you've got IK, FK. So the moment it's set to zero, uh, which is FK, so let's set that to one, um, and you will see that the controls change. Okay, um, We now have like a cube around his um, hand, and we've got um, this control uh, for his elbow, which is very similar um, to the knee. Okay, um, So again, the IK control um, is literally, um, you can move and rotate the hand from the end. Okay? Um, so choose, uh, generally when you start your animation or you start your pose, choose whichever way um, you find easiest. Have uh, Start exploring, uh, animating with uh, each one uh, and see which you prefer um, and, and get used to it. and. Um, uh, ultimately, you'll you'll get a lot more comfortable. Practice with all these rigs is is uh, you know the more practice you do, the better. Okay. So, lastly, then um, are the finger controls, um, and I always think you know he's got quite big hands. Um, take time posing the hands up. Um, it it really helps your animation um, to have good. Um, hand poses, really consider the shape of the hands. Okay, um, So you'll see the, the control that looks like a hand. I can select um, each individual finger um, one at a time. Okay, um, And if I select a, an individual finger on a menu on, on the channel box on the right hand side, you've got things like curl, uh, scrunch, uh, bend one, two, three, four. The bend one, two, three, four are for each individual knuckle, so that you can control each one um, uh, quite uh, in a finite way, or you can just do a general curl. Uh, the same control applies. You click on the word, um, bring your cursor over into your viewport, middle click to get that horizontal control, and you can see um, that I'm curling um, his little little finger. Okay, and again, to reset it back to zero, um, click in the value and hit zero. Uh, so you can do the fingers one at a time. Uh, so uh, if I go to bend four, that should be um, the end knuckle. Bend three, um, the next one down. So you can get that real uh, finite control if you want to. Okay, um, again, zero and the all out, like so. Uh, and you can do the thumb as well. All, all the finger individually have very similar controls. Um, now what you can also do is um, you can do two at a time, three at a time, it's, it's up to you. Um, so I can generally curl them all together, okay, so you can save time that way, you can, you can select them um, more than one. Um, they're the finger controls. If you uh, click roughly in, in the palm, this sort of squiggle in the palm, it brings up more general hand controls. Um, so you've got things like cup, um, which stops, um, it really bends the hand over, um, so it stops the, um, the hand feeling like a flat shovel. Okay, so there are all the controls.